In this video, we are going to discuss how to create a setup that could be useful for learning Linux or working with the web development, trying out content management systems like Drupal, WordPress and other things. Now, why Linux is basically you want to learn Linux. Secondly, a lot of web servers out there are based on Linux, like PHP based development is done on Linux web servers, Drupal, WordPress and other content management systems. They are usually Linux type. So you would want to have a Linux system or setup where you can try out these things. Now, the best thing is to actually have a Linux system running on your hardware directly, but many people are hesitant initially to work with it. So what we are going to do is we are going to have our Linux systems installed virtually. That means rather than getting new hardware or anything, we will use a software called as VirtualBox, which allows us to create virtual machines. Now, what exactly is a virtual machine? A virtual machine is a representation of a real life machine within your operating system. So just like in real life, you would have gone out and bought a machine dependent upon your requirement. Let's say you would have taken 8 GB of RAM, some amount of hard drive space and other kind of things. So in that particular scenario, you will get a hardware. Similarly, VirtualBox allows us to create that kind of hardware. Obviously, uh, the actual performance is dependent upon your actual machine which you are using and that way we can generate the virtual hardware and then once the virtual hardware is generated just like in a normal scenario you would have installed operating systems and softwares onto that we will install an operating system on that virtual machine that is created so how do we get this uh, software well, the software is VirtualBox dependent upon your operating system. You can, uh, if you are on Ubuntu, Linux Mint and other things, usually VirtualBox is a part of their repositories, which can be downloaded and installed from that. So you could like simply go to the software manager and search for uh, the software VirtualBox and that will show up. So here VirtualBox or We'll search for that and here you can see VirtualBox is installed. I've already installed it on my machine. Okay. Otherwise, what you can do is you can simply go to the website for VirtualBox, virtualbox.org. Okay. And you can download it from the download section. Select the one as per your requirement and download it and install it. Once you have downloaded and installed VirtualBox, you will simply run it from the icon or wherever the location is. And this is how the initial screen of VirtualBox will look. Okay, so here what we have is our VirtualBox. And the first thing that we need to do is to create a virtual machine. Virtual machine, you can see there are some options over here. So here there is an option of new. So we'll click on new and now try to understand here we are creating a machine. It's as good as going to the market and buying some hardware for yourself. So here we will set up that hardware. Now here you will give the name of the machine. Now obviously I'll be using my virtual box for a Linux setup. So I'll call it as Linux machine. See you can create multiple machines over here. So those names should be suitable enough for that. So I will call it as Linux Mint. 21 and here automatically it takes a type Linux and version Ubuntu. So basically now this is a confusing point. People think that now this machine is for or it's a Ubuntu machine. It is ready. No, it's not installing anything for you. It is creating some suitable settings or it's kind of getting a hardware that will be suitable for running Ubuntu, which is 64 bit. You can see there are different ones. There is uh, uh, different versions of Linux showing up over here. Suppose you would have taken, let us say, um, Mac OS. So it will show you setup which could be suitable for Mac OS. Uh, if you would have taken Microsoft Windows, so it would show you some options where what kind of windows you would be installing into this. 
so here we had selected linux and ubuntu 64 bit so basically it will try to configure a hardware which is suitable for running this operating system fine so it's all virtual but keep this in mind so now this is machine folder where your virtual machine will be created so you select some folder according to your requirements i'm going to uh, set it to another location which is this okay so dependent upon your requirement wherever free space is there you will have to have it another point to keep in mind is when you will be installing the whole operating system it will take around 10 20 gb of space or whatever is there you should clarify that first so if you are installing linux uh, mint ubuntu or something at least keep in mind it will need around 20 gb of space disk space for this machine to work properly next is memory size how much ram would be suitable by default it is taking 1 gb of ram i have around 12 gb now to work comfortably we usually require around 8 gb okay uh, on a actual machine here i am going to assign it around 4 gb of space so i have assigned 4096 mb that is 4 gb of ram from the whole ram on my system now keep in mind it's not going to take up all the 4 gb of ram but yes it will definitely consume some ram so that is required but the maximum ram that is allocated or it's kind of when you buy the machine you would have taken only 4 gb of ram so this machine is going to have 4 gb of ram next is create a hard drive yes we need a hard drive every machine needs a hard drive so we'll create a virtual hard drive so this is like you are deciding what size of your hard drive should be we say create now it's asking type rather than getting into too much of details we'll leave it to the virtual box disk image whatever is the default right now now this is a very interesting part now since these are virtual machines so you 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 have a 20 gb hard drive it may not be utilized completely all the time right so you can have a fixed size if you make a fixed size what's going to happen is on our host machine the actual machine a 20 gb of space will be consumed directly so we may not utilize the whole hard drive immediately so we will keep it on dynamically allocated since it's a virtual uh, device obviously our hard drive size will increase up to the maximum which we will decide later on so over here i'll go to next and here the hard drive size is showing 10 gb we will create it to 20 gb i'm giving 20 gb but it will not take up 20 gb as we start installing our operating system then in the actual base machine it will take up 20 GB. so with this our machine is created and ready and just like in other systems you will be able to install operating system into this if you start this machine right now you will get an error that there is no operating system on this we can try this let's say start so when i say start since this is being managed by the virtual box it tells us that the machine is empty if you cancel this what you are going to see is press f12 for boot menu just like you get into bios and here finally it says no bootable medium form system halted so basically we have bought a machine without an operating system right now and it needs to be installed with a operating system so we will close this it says power of the machine will power of the machine the machine is shut down now before we proceed one final setting that we want to do is here there is a floppy drive which we will not need we'll leave the optical and hard drive as it is and there is a video ram which is given only 16 mb which is very less you will not get full screen or uh, full hd working on this machine so i am giving it around 256 mb whatever is available at least 128 mb should be provided for its good functionality and i will say okay so with this our machine is ready and next step we can do is do the installation so in the next step we are going to see how we can install linux onto this machine